Hey everyone, I'm Jim Classic, and you are watching Geekin' It. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, I kind of just, you know, woke up the next day, and uh, I see my, my other video, and I see that mysterious masked stranger has done toy reviews for me of uh, some of my clearance uh, Star Wars toys. So, you know, that was, that was real nice of him, yeah. Anyway, you, know, you might have noticed uh, this this California T-shirt, and I, I, I have a um, a little bit of an announcement to make. Um, I'm moving to California. Yep, I'll be moving to, to the San Francisco area. Uh, my wife has gotten a job there, and we are, you know, officially should be out of here, out of New Jersey by. Let's, let's say mid-July, you know, got to get everything packed up, got to sell the house. So for the next handful of videos, the next handful of videos are going to be toy reviews, very straight up, very easy Transformers toy reviews, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, uh, and you might also start to see that the office might start getting a little emptier, might start getting a little bit cleared out because I got to put things away. I am... Uh, got to figure out what's going to go with me to California. I might have to leave a few things at my parents' house, which, gosh, bless them, they are the best. Um, they're, they're willing to put a little corner, you know, clean up some corner space. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean up a corner space of the basement, just put some of them in the basement for the time being until I can figure out really what to do with them. And um, also... As weird as this sounds coming from me, because, you know, anyone who knows me knows I, uh, I'm a collector. I'm actually selling off some of my toys. This is something I, I do very, very sparingly, but I've been looking around at some of my toys, some of my collection, and I'm just looking at them, I'm thinking, you know, I really don't need this in my life anymore. So, um, you know, I, I figure... I started putting up a few things on eBay. Um, I, I have a very small collection of the Masters of the Universe uh, Commemorative Collector Series. Uh, limited edition, one out of 10,000. And um, I, I only own like five of them. Um, yeah, I, don't own, I only own about five of these. Um, back in 2000 and 2001, you know, they were, on, they were at retail places like Suncoast Video and stuff like that, Vi video stores, which you don't really see too often anymore, um, they're for around $12. And um, on eBay, you, you can see them on eBay eh, anywhere between 20 and 50 Maybe there's one or two of them that are like about $100, but I was, I was just looking at some of these, and I thought, you know what? I, I still have my original He-Man toys. Um, and I, I also got a, a, another small influx of He-Man toys from my cousin last year. And I, I just I just don't need this anymore in my life, you know? And, and uh, don't get any funny ideas. He's already sold. Uh, the only reason why I'm showing him off right now is, well, I mean, mainly because this will be the last time I will be holding on to this thing in my hands. It's, as soon as I'm done with this video, he's going right into a box. He's getting packed up. He's getting shipped out. So... Yeah, you know, just figure, you know, uh, I got, I sold off the, uh, Men at Arms, you know, Duncan, for those of you, uh, know Masters of the Universe from the cartoon series, um, you know, he's slightly damaged, I was, I was pretty upfront about that, you know, the box is just, it, I don't, I don't even remember doing it, don't even remember how it happened, but, you know, like I said, I had never opened it, and again, I don't need it anymore, I mean... Not only do I have the 2000 XX, you know, reimagined version. I, I have, I still have my original Man at Arms. Oh, the, the, oh, actually, this Man at Arms might be from my cousin. I think my original Man at Arms was destroyed a long time ago. But I mean, I have one. He's in good shape. He's, you know, not, you know, still has the. Uh, see, still has it. He still got it. He still got it. He's still good. He's still awesome. I don't need this anymore. I just. I just don't, you know? But yeah, so yeah, this is, I mean, at the time back in 2000, I was really excited to see this, because He-Man was coming back. This is before 
the 2002-2003 reboot. You know, this this might have actually helped to jumpstart the 2003 reboot. And, uh, you know, it was, just, it was really cool. Really liked the packaging. You know, just basic black with, like, uh, well, that's not uh, black on the back. That's what I'm looking at. But it's not like the uh, the Castle Grayskull brickwork around the side here. You know, Masters of the Universe and the limited edition um, n number is, like, nice foil, you know, uh, foil metallic kind of a shine to it. And then, of course, we have Mad at Arms, you know, with the, uh, on card, on the, uh, on an original reproduction card with uh, the accessories in there, the little comic book in the back, and just a, a nice looking, a nice looking figure. Um, authentic replica of the original figure, and it has Mattel at the bottom. And then, of course, you flip it to the back, and we have that metallic sheen again. And, of course, we have the, the, the list of characters that were also available in this line. And um, also came with a 90-day limited warranty. And, and, well, <laughs> right. Collect them all. Just pretty cool. So, Man at Arms is going to uh, go into the box. He's going to go into the box. I'm going to try and clean off some of these, clean off some of the dust a little bit. I was... I was trying to be very transparent with this stuff on eBay. I said, you know, a little bit of dust, a little bit of dust. I, I was, you know, uh, a little bit of wear on the box. Unfortunately, couldn't do much about that. But, you know, we have Beast Man. We have Beast Man. Now, I never owned Beast Man as a kid. Um, I, I did get a Beast Man figure from uh, my cousin, but he immediately broke. I'm going to glue the legs back together. But I'm not a huge Beast Man fan, so I'm just willing to let this guy go. But... You know, again, same layout, authentic replica, one out of 10,000. Um, you know, slightly damaged on the box. And we have Beast Man on the back. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty awesome. Again, same thing on the back um, with the, the Collect Them All, our, our selection of guys. Um, and also, still has the price tag for Ames. <laughs> I don't even know if Ames is still around. I don't even know if you know what Ames even is. Um, Ames. It was kind of like uh, a, a Walmart, a local Walmart in New Jersey. Um, that's all I could really tell you. That's all I really remember about it. I don't even remember where Ames even was. Um, somewhere in Mercer County. Mercer County, New Jersey. That's all I really remember. But, yeah, so. Yeah. $12.99. I think I sold it. I think I sold this for about $40. Not, not complaining. Not complaining. Again, Beast Man is going to go into the box. He's going to get shipped out. He's going to go to a new happy owner who I hope will treat it well. Um, oh no, where did he go? Oh, here he is. Next up, next up we have Merman. Merman, look at that. Again, Merman is not a toy I had when I was a kid. Um, I mean, I had a ton of He-Man toys. I just, for some reason, like, Guys like Beast Man and Merman, I, I just never got. I, I don't know why. Maybe because my friends had them, and I played with my friends, and then I just, you know, I kind of filled that gap for me. I, I don't know, but again, we have Merman, 1 out of 10,000, nice shimmery Masters of the Universe, you know, thing right there. Um, card, authentic replica, Mattel. Same format, same format. We just have Merman. Now, I, I do have Merman, most of them, most of them. Again, this is from my cousin. You know, I mean, he's missing his belt buckle, and this, he does not, this is not his axe. I just, I just kind of gave it to him. I don't, I actually, I might own this sword somewhere. You know, uh, back in the day, back in the heyday of He-Man, they did have, like, weapons packs. So I might actually have the sword, but, you know, I just figure, you know, oh, and this, his body armor's coming off. But um, you know, so I, I already have Merman. He's in decent enough condition, other than missing a missing his specific weapon. But you know, I just I own him. I own him. Don't need him. So I sold him. Uh, still has the fourteen ninety nine sticker from KB Toys. Who remembers KB Toys? Are are they even still around? I I hear that they are. Like maybe online only. I don't know. I've never actually looked. But you know, I, I do miss. I do miss KB Toys. You know that was it was a little outlet store. You know not not as big and as as um, grandiose as Toys R Us, but you know it was it was nice. It was nice for what it was. 
Um, definitely a little bit more expensive than Toys R Us, but, you know, Toys R Us is now, like, really expensive, and one of the reasons why they're going out of business. Oh, political commentary. I don't know if that's political commentary. I really don't, but definitely had to throw in my two cents there. So, and the last thing I sold, not, well, not the last thing I sold, but um, this, this one was a dis difficult decision for me. Um, Faker, the evil robotic clone of He-Man. And, you know, it's, you know, he's a blue He-Man, basically, you know. Uh, came with a sword and an axe, I think. And again, you know, commemorative series, one out of 10,000, nice foil, masses of the universe, Faker, some little bit, of, little bit of damage. You know, it happens. It happens. Faker, authentic replica of the original figure, Mattel. But on the back, instead of um, instead of just our our list of characters, uh, we have a little bit of a different variety here. We have a nice little action scene up here where I, th I think he's yeah he's he's right in the middle of battling He-Man, which is awesome. And then we have the instructions on twist the waist, you know, just <laughs> you know, you know, like because they they had those spring-loaded punches and stuff like that. And his removable body armor comes with sword weapon. Sword weapon. And yeah, we have and we have a few other figures, you know. Some of the battle armor he man. King Randor, which I don't remember them making a King Randor when I was a kid. I don't remember them making the sorceress when I was a kid. Um, I would have liked to have gotten them. That would have been really nice. Um, Extendor, Rio Blast, Clamp Champ, Terror Claw, Scared Low, Ninj Ninjor. Ninjor. And the Snake Men. The Snake Men. That was a big deal back in the day. And again, you know, just just a nice little box. Don't need it anymore. You know. Um, I have... I have Faker. This is my third... My third Faker. I still have my original Faker. You know. I still have my... A lot of my original He-Man toys are still at my parents' house, believe it or not. I just never brought them here, but I um, I got, I still have Faker, this is my second Faker, it was my 2000 remake, you know, 2000 XX reboot Faker right over there, so I, I, I have, I have a small robot army of Fakers, yeah, I'm willing to say goodbye to this one, you know, Faker will always have a special place in my heart, but I, I have enough of them, you know, now the thing which... I'm torn about, which I haven't really decided whether or not I'm going to sell them, is I still have, again, commemorative series, Tila, um, Heroic Snake, oh, Heroic Warrior Goddess. So this is Tila, you know, the, our, 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 our female warrior from the Masters of the Universe line, she fights alongside He-Man, you know, constantly berates Prince Adam for his laziness. And again, it's it's the same same deal. You know, the the the, the whole layout does not really change. Remember the series, one out of ten thousand, Masters of the Universe, authentic replica. You know, Tila, Mattel, and the the toy looks nice. The toy, very clean, very nice. My old team man toys don't look this clean. Don't they don't look this nice? Um, you know, again, I have about, I might actually have about three or four Tilas. You know, I have three originals. And then I have the 2003 remake TLS. So I, I have more than enough TLS. You know, I, I don't... I don't... Whoa, whoa. I'm, just, I'm zooming in for your benefit. <laughs> um, but I, I have more than enough TLS. I got, but I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to sell her. I, I just, you know, I want to keep... I want to keep one or two of them. And I think I think Tila here is going to be spared uh, the eBay bid. Um, also, there is some damage right here on the plastic card, so um, that might that might dissuade people from buying it. I don't know. Otherwise, the the box is in pretty good shape. Um, again, oh, I forgot to show the back. Nice little foil metallic sheen. Yeah, we have Tila sneaking around. You know, I guess she's spying on. Oh, she's spying on Skeletor and Beast Man. We have the collect them all. We have what her action features, her her waist punch, and she can. Hold her magical staff, <laughs> yay, because that's an action feature. Um, but then again, there was the '80s female warrior. You know, it was still relatively a new thing. I, I guess, I, I, probably not, not really. But 
what do I know? I was a kid back then. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm probably going to hold on to this. I haven't decided yet. And my my last of the commemorative series that I have is uh, Evil Lynn. I have Evil Lynn right there. Um, our evil warrior goddess. Okay, so Tila is the heroic warrior goddess. Evil Lynn is the evil warrior goddess, naturally. And again, limited edition, commemorative series, 1 out of 10,000, Masses of the Universe, Evil Lynn, Evelyn, whatever. Authentic replica, Mattel, you know, Castle Grayskull box. Um, it's uh, actually the box is still in pretty good shape. Uh, $12.99, Ames again. And again, I, I have I have a couple of Evil Lynns already. Yeah. Here we have Evil Lynn right there. Um, not, not in the best condition. She's a little, you know, plastic's a little scuffed up and dirty in some spots. I have a feeling this leg is about to come right off. Um, but um, I'm actually thinking of holding on to Evil Lynn too because I only have this one and I have the 2003 remake. And I might want to hold on to this one. Um, I mean, when I was a kid, I had an Evil Lynn toy, and I, I don't remember what movie it was. You know, like, when you're five years old, you want to take your toys with you. And I, I just remember as a child, my, my grandmother taking me to the movie theaters. Um, I, I want to say American Tale. I don't really know. But it was probably, probably American Tale or something like that. Um, and I brought my Evil Lynn toy, and by the time we had gotten out of the theater, I realized I didn't have my Evil Lynn toy anymore. I lost it. I lost it. She was gone. She disappeared. She was lost forever. And then, you know, in 2000, I stumbled upon this, and I bought this right away. Because, you know, throughout my entire childhood, uh, into my teens and everything, I just, you know, this is the one that got away somehow. So... As soon as I learned about the commemorative series, as soon as I stumbled upon Evil Lynn, I picked her up. I had to. I really had to. So, I'm probably going to hold on to Evil Lynn here. Um, let's look at the back real quick. Again, nice metallic finish. We have a nice little action shot of, um, it looks like Evil Lynn is casting some kind of a spell on He-Man. And it's, it's kind of cool. I love, I love the old artwork from the old He-Man toys. They're great. Um, again, action feature. She can hold onto her wand, her waist swivels, and our our collect them all gallery right there, and it's all pretty cool. Um, and again, probably holding on to this one. Tila and Evil Lynn are the two which I'm probably going to hold on to. Um, and there is another one which I sold, not not a He-Man figure, but this time a Star Wars Power of the Force uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. Now this is the one that did not sold, sold, sell. This is the one, <laughs> this is the one that did not sell. Uh, the one that did sell was the one which had the, um, the, the, the movie slide, you know, for, for slide projector, you know, uh, authentic action scene of Grand Moff Tarkin standing there, I guess. Not like he has a lot of action scenes, <laughs> but, um, I'm going through my old Star Wars toys. I'm probably going to try and sell some of these off because I, I just have a bunch. I have a bunch that I, I never open. I never, you know, you, you buy this stuff, you think they're going to be collector's items, and then 20 years later you see them for five bucks on eBay. So I'm not even going to look, I'm not even expecting all that much for these guys. But I'm going to try and sell some of these off. You know, I uh, might get rid of some of them. Um, definitely decided I'm going to get rid of this first order. Uh, um, executioner. I, I already have two of them. I don't need a third one. I, I, I thought I figured I'd buy them. I don't really know. Um, I mean, I got them on clearance for $10, so I'm not going to make a big deal. I'm just going to try and sell them for the, what I can, but there's a couple of things I want to get rid of. Um, and, and the last thing, I just figure I want to talk about this, just for a moment. Since I'm on the subject of selling things, um, I am totally going to put this Rothtar on eBay, because I do not want it. You know, when I originally bought it, I figured, oh, cool, Star Wars monster, but this thing is just a, a freaking annoying thing to put together. And if you notice, if you notice, he's not flying apart because I gorilla glued his tentacles together. He is held together by gorilla glue, okay? That's the only thing to hold this mm, thing together. Um, which, it, if, if I have to do my own repair work on this thing, it's an awful toy. I am going to sell this on eBay 
you know, I'm going to package it up very carefully, put it in a nice big box with, with bubble wrap and all that crap. And, you know, he is going to be taken good care of because I'm going to sell him as a repaired toy. And, and of course, we can, we, we'll, I'll include the sad, the sad, pathetic man as well. There we go. You know, probably like that. <laughs> <laughs> Half eaten, but yeah. So I I I, I, I fixed the Wrath Tar by gorilla gluing him together so it doesn't fall apart. So that's pretty much it. Just want to talk to you about this stuff real quick. You know, um, I'm gonna be selling off a few more things. So keep I'll I'll put a link down to my eBay, and um, you know, make a few more videos, and then otherwise I will see you guys in California, or you'll see me in California. I'm. I, I don't know. You know what I mean. I hope you know what I mean. Because otherwise I'm just going to start rambling on. Anyway, I'm Jim Classic, and you've been watching Geek In It.